nerve supply of the face the structures in the region of the face supplied by nerves are the skin and the muscles of facial expression muscles of facial expression are attached to bones on one side and the dermis of the skin on the other side thereby when they contract they can move the skin and assist in facial expressions although most of the muscles of mastication are not in the region of the face one muscle which is called masseter is on the side of the face muscles of mastication are attached between bones and when they contract they move uh, the temporomandibular joint and assist in chewing food muscles of facial expression develop from the mesoderm of the second pharyngeal arch the second pharyngeal arch nerve is the facial nerve and therefore the muscles of facial expression are supplied by the facial nerve on the other hand muscles of mastication develop from the mesoderm of the first pharyngeal arch the first pharyngeal arch nerve is the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve therefore muscles of mastication are supplied by the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve mandibular division of trigeminal nerve not only supply the muscles of mastication it contributes to supply the dermis of the skin of the face and other division of the trigeminal nerve also contributes to supply the skin of the face in other words all three divisions of the trigeminal nerve supply the skin of the face and only the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve supplies muscles of mastication muscles of facial expression are supplied by the facial nerve the second arch nerve in this diagram you can see the skin of the face supplied by the three divisions of the trigeminal nerve ophthalmic division maxillary division and mandibular division as you can see here the forehead area is supplied by the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve and the upper cheek and upper lip area is supplied by the maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve and the lower cheek area and the lower lip area is supplied by the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve one easy way to remember the landmarks for the three divisions is the angle of the eye and the angle of the mouth and when you test for the three nerves in in the board setting you can actually use these two lines but you have to go closer to the midline you can check for ophthalmic division here in the forehead closer to the midline above the angle of the eye and you can uh, check for maxillary division between the two lines again closer to the midline and for the mandibular division below the angle of the mouth line closer to the midline by this way you can check all three divisions without remembering all the complicated lines here another important point to remember is that as you can see here the upper eyelid is supplied by the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve and the lower eyelid is supplied by the maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve but inside the eye when the eye is open the cornea and the conjunctiva covering the sclera they are also supplied by the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve therefore if you touch the cornea or sclera the sensory inputs go into the brain through the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve another important point to remember is that the skin over the masseter muscle in this area is not supplied by the three divisions of the trigeminal nerve but it is supplied by great auricular nerve which is a branch from the cervical plexus and great auricular nerve um, is given from c2 spinal segment therefore the dermatome over the masseter muscle is c2 not the three divisions of the trigeminal nerve as i mentioned before motor supply to the face that is the muscles of facial expression supply is by the facial nerve there are five branches of the facial nerve which are given inside the parotid gland supply the muscles of facial expression more details about the facial nerve 
is included in the lecture on muscles of facial expression in the same channel, the link of which I will provide in the description and towards the end of the lecture. To mention some of the important muscles of facial expression, this is uh, frontal belly of occipital frontalis muscle. The occipital belly is found at the back. This is orbicularis oculi muscle. This is buccinator muscle. This is orbicularis oris here. And platysma muscle is in this area. All these muscles are described in the lecture on muscles of facial expression. Frontalis muscle when contracts wrinkles the forehead. Orbicularis oculi muscle when contracts it closes the eye. Orbicularis oris on the other hand when contracts it closes the mouth. Tightly close the mouth with contraction of orbicularis oris muscle. And the buccinator muscle by contraction it helps in uh, chewing the footballers. It prevents uh, food particles getting collected in the vestibule of the mouth. Another important point is the corneal reflex. Corneal reflex is a reflex that is done as part of neurological examination of a patient. Corneal reflex is done by touching the cornea or the conjunctiva over the sclera by a cotton bud. And when this is done, uh, the sensory or the afferent is taken through the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve because that is the division that supplies the uh, cornea and the conjunctiva over the sclera when the eye is open. The motor or the efferent pathway of the reflex is the facial nerve. When the facial nerve brings motor to the orbicularis oculi here, the patient will reflexly close the eye. Follow the link given in the description and at the end of the lecture uh, to study more about the muscles of facial expression. And if you need details about the facial nerve, you can find the cranial nerve lectures in the same channel, cranial nerve 1, 2 and 3. Thank you for watching the video.